Hello there everybody, how's it going? This is Matt DeZamont here, and welcome to a brand new playthrough for Europa Universalis 4. So you're probably thinking, well hang on a minute, haven't you just started a playthrough? Yes I have. But, I decided that I'm going to run two separate playthroughs at the same time. Um, the reason being, uh, they're both going to be very different. And so I kind of want to try and focus on two at the same time, which is uh, going to be a little bit interesting. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to follow both of them. Um, don't worry if you can't, if you want to just follow one and then maybe watch those ones and then move on to another one, move on to the next one at a later stage, it's fine. All the playlists are going to be up, so no problem with that. So, we're going to be part starting a new playthrough here, and this one is a requested playthrough. Uh, this was requested by Mr. L. Weiwei. Now, we're currently playing as Tunis, of course, in the uh, Defending the Maghreb playthrough is uh, what we're currently doing. However, just for a change, and as with respect to the request, we're once again going to move across the map over to the east. Uh, we're going to move to the Far East. Now, of course, we have played as Ming, uh, which was a really interesting playthrough that unfortunately came to a bit of a sour end because uh, the uh, the westernizing tech was taken out of the um, was taken out of the game, things like that, and that was pretty disappointing. We're going to play as one of the Eastern nations again, though, and as requested by Mr. El Weiwei, um, who wanted me to play as sort of one of these Eastern nations, he suggested perhaps Oirat or somebody like that. Uh, but the one I'm going to choose is we're going to go ahead and start a new career. Quite literally, we're going to play as Korea. Um, going to get start a new career. <laughs> ha ha. Okay. Um, so you have the Chinese tech group, which is the same as Ming, of course. Now Korea is actually one of the smaller nations in this area, and so this is going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to see how we get on here. Now, if um, our Ming gameplay gameplay gameplay, <laughs> um, if our Ming gameplay is anything to go by, um, Korea actually did very very well. Um, so we'll see what happens. Uh, right, okay, so here we are, Korea. So we have two forts, three forts I should say. Um, this is our capital over here, which I'm going to assume that's... Oh, I don't, is that Pyongyang? I don't know. Or is that... I don't know what uh, actual capital... No, no, Pyongyang is over here. No, I don't know what uh, this one is. Is this Seoul? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, Either way, we are playing as Korea. Okay, so the um, this is going to be interesting, actually. Um, I'm quite looking forward to this in many ways. Uh, firstly, um, it's going to depend how... I think Ming is going to be a big player here. Because um, if we if we decide to attack them, that could be quite brutal. If we decide to ally with them, that could be very helpful for our early growth. Um, so let's have a look at what we actually do here, then. So first off, as we always like to uh, dictate... Who the heck hates us? Um, I'm hoping that Ming doesn't hate us, but we'll find out. Our sole enemy is Yan Zhu, uh, which is this one here. Okay, fair enough. Um, so that's our only eligible rival. Oh, okay, that's fine. Might as well just go and hate on them back. That makes sense. Um, that's going to be absolutely fine. Okay, temporarily, I'm going to mothball my forts. Uh, actually, I would like to know... Ooh, yeah, okay. Um, our income... Uh, with our forts up is actually quite brutal. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, multiple our forts at the moment. Okay, um, so who is potentially interested in some form of alliance or whatnot? Ming is certainly one that I would like. Now, they actually see me as hostile. Really? Well, that's quite interesting. Uh, despite that, they actually like me. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Um, I'm quite... Uh, interested in that. Um, I'd like to go and improve some relations over there then. I think I'm going to go ahead and improve relations. Um, I think that... Oh, they want my provinces. <gasps> oh my god, really? That's terrible. Okay, right. Um, so in that case then we might want to seek allies elsewhere. Yeren doesn't like me. Korchin doesn't like me. Hyksi seems to like me. Yanzu hates me. Mongolia doesn't like me. Nobody likes me around here. Oh my god. We literally have no friends. What are we going to do? <laughs> oh my god, okay. I'm going to park a diplomat over in um, over in Ming, though. I think that's going to make sense. Although, if they do decide they want my provinces, then God help us. Okay, um, so let's establish what we have here. So we have 18,000 troops. Uh, we have a bunch of ships over here as well. What do we got? Well, we've got some lights. Okay, so let's have a look at trade. Um, so our home trade node is the... Nippon trade node. Okay, fair enough. Um, we might want to do some attacking over here in Japan then. Maybe try and nab some of these little provinces and things like that. That might be a good way to go. 
Um, so in that case, then, we're going to want to keep our transports kicking around. Um, so let's move our galleys over to here, then. And... Come on, let me... There we go. Uh, let's go and pick up our lights, then, and we'll go ahead and protect trade in the uh, nip and trade node, which makes sense, uh, because that's where our capital is. Um, yeah, that is where our capital is. Okay, cool. So in that case, then, we're probably going to want to look at... Oh, we're collecting trade in Beijing. Why are we collecting trade in Beijing? That's bad. Uh, we need to be collecting trade here. There we go. And we are moving trade down from here. Okay, brilliant. Uh, I don't know where that one actually goes. So uh, that one's probably going to be somewhere like... Um, Alaska? Something like that? Uh, I don't know what that trade node's actually called. But... Uh, yeah, so we'll move that uh, we'll move that uh, merchant across there. That's going to be fine. Okay, so that's our trade sorted. Um, so what do we want to do with our other diplomats? Well, I think the first thing we're going to do is fabricate a claim against Jiangsu. Uh, however, before I do that, I might want to take a look at our missions because sometimes you get some really good missions. Okay, so conquer. There we go. Brilliant. Conquer Heitu Allah. Um, so that's this province over here. We're going to take this one. Um, hey, to Allah owned by Korea. We've pretty much got two missions, so it depends whether we want the autonomy change or whether we want the manpower, recovery, speed, and prestige. I think we'll take the prestige. Uh, I like prestige. So we'll take this mission. Um, so uh, we'll go ahead and try and do some conquest over there. And we also have a national decision available in that we can found the Hall of Worthies. Okay, rule has admin skill of at least four. Okay. Uh, yearly prestige, lose some ducats and some admin power. The yearly prestige might be very nice. Let's go ahead and take the yearly prestige then. That'll do. That's brilliant. Okay. Fine, dabby dozy. Okay, so monies are pretty poor at the moment, as has been said. So there's a good chance that we're probably um, not going to want to take any advisors. Our military power points, all our power points are very good at the moment, thanks to our current king. Um, our heir is not so great. He's also 29. Hmm, not sure how long our current uh, king is going to last. So we've got ourselves a claim over here and things like that. So probably what we're going to want to do is also fabricate some claims on some of these small Japanese places here. Perhaps stop Japan from becoming a bit too powerful. That might be a good idea. Um, so what is this one here? Um, Uchi is currently a vassal under Japan. Okay. Which one actually is Japan here? It's this one here. Okay. That is the only one we can actually fabricate for, I think. Although this one here... You are also a vassal under Japan. Okay, so... Ah, oh, all of these are vassals. Okay. So, if we were to attack here, we would actually end up... Um, yeah, we would drag Japan into the fight and probably everybody else. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually fabricate a claim here, though. Alright, we have to spawn the Overlord, so Japan. Uh, build spy network. Let's go ahead and build a spy network over there. And, ooh, maybe, hmm, not sure what to do with the other diplomat here. So Ming, Kam, yeah, there's not, not many friends that we can have. Um, wondering whether Oy, whether Oyrap might be interested in some sort of alliance at some point. I don't know. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll start with this then, I think. That's quite a brutal start, but, uh, I'm going to turn the lights on here because it's actually quite dark. Jeez, the, uh, the rain is absolutely uh, annoying today. Okay, I think we can go ahead and start then. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move these guys up to here then. So it depends whether this fella over here, Jianzu, gets any alliances or not. We'll have to see whether you get any alliances. Um, so let's go ahead and move across to here then. Okay, Korchin into the military alliance. Okay, um... I might suck up to Yeren up here, then. Why do you hate me? Different religion. Oh, really? Oh, okay. So this is the uh, Tengri religion, and Confucian is down here. Right, okay. Fair enough. Um, well, I'm interested to see what Ming does, anyway. Um, I would very much like to be friends with Ming, uh, if I can. Uh, Japan has set Ming as their rival. Of course they have. Okay. So yeah, if we were to attack Janzu, uh, yes, we would struggle because we have to also go to war with Korchin. Ouchie, okay. Um, we'll have to take the corruption here then. That's a bit annoying. Uh, that's a bad event to start with. Jesus. Um, 
Right, okay, that's fine. Okay, um, so... Hikesy in here, then, might be a temporarily, temporary ally. Yeah, I reckon they're going to be a temporary ally. Maybe. I don't know. I'd rather have Ming. You still see me as hostile, though. Yeah. Okay, we'll see what happens, though. So, I'm going to merge these guys together. Uh, Korea is actually a very hard start. Uh, I've not really realised just how tough a start it actually is. Um, okay, then. Um, the, how about Mongolia? You're actually a vassal under Oirat. Okay, then. Uh, so, maybe Oirat might be a potential ally then as well. Um, sort of, yeah. I think they might be good allies, actually, those two. So, let's go ahead and move across to there, then. Um... This is an inland sea. Okay, so all this is inland sea, so that's going to benefit us quite greatly here. What is the liberty desire of some of these guys? Quite high, actually. Interesting. Okay, so, um, hmm. So we can actually declare wars now. Might have to wait for an opportunity. Um, yeah, you still see me as hostile. Warning Oirat. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Declared war. Okay, the first war has been declared. Takeda started the war. That looks like that's a... Yeah, that's a fight over here. Between vassals or whatever. I don't know how that works, actually. Uh, it's an interesting... Uh, maybe not all of them are vassals. I'm not sure. Uh, we've also got some wars in the Indian state. Um, that's pretty much expected. And Hikesy started a war against Yeren. Really? Is Yeren that weak? Must be. Okay, well, we'll see how we get on then. So the question is, would Korchin join a fight? Um, we can have the guy from Oirat again then. Uh, I'd be interested to see whether Korchin would join the fight. Probably would. It is a big nation. I'm imagining it would. Brutal! What a brutal start this is. Okay, um... Yes, Korchin would join the fight. Uh, let's have a look at some uh, army compositions here. So, uh, Jiangsu is 11,000. Korchin is 9,000. So we'd be taking on 20,000 troops. Which we could easily increase our limit to. This might be a possible war to declare, actually. Uh, which is interesting. Same religion, yeah. I'm hoping that Ming will uh, switch. I'm hoping so, anyway. Might be well worth a declaration here, then. Um, as long as... Yeah, see, you're improving relations everywhere. Uh, no, you, everyone is improving relations with you. Okay, fair enough. That makes sense, because Ming is the powerhouse in this region. Uh, right. Wait for those troops to form. These are some hill provinces, which might be very beneficial to actually uh, sort of hold the ground. Might be able to take this on. Yeah. Okay, you just declared a fight as well. That's great. Uh, so you know what? That might be a good time to go in for a war then. So I'm going to preemptively move my ships over here to this place. Although these guys are actually moving out here. Uh, where have my lights gone? Oh, they're all the way over here. Okay. Um, I might click the go home at war for you guys. Right, so if you've declared a war on Yeren, well that's good, because that means I can go and declare a war on you. So, declare war. Korchin will join. Conquest. Take Heitu Allah. Uh, we also need a leader, so I think we should probably just roll. Do I dare roll again? That's a bit better, I suppose. Oh my god. Right, declare war. Hey to Allah. Let's go. Uh, actually, what I might do... 
is that. Hold the position. So Cortin joined the war. However, are you already... Yes, you're already joined in the war against Yeren as well. So you're going to be preoccupied elsewhere. We have been warned by Ming to not go to war with anyone else. Ouch. Okay. Well, good, good timing on that war declaration. Okay. Let's see how we go then. <laughs> it's pretty... Uh, Pretty annoying, actually, to say the very least. <laughs> My god, okay. Um, how long does a warning last for? Uh, 14, so 20 years. Okay, walk in over there then. Okay, occupation of the war goal. Nice. Uh, yeah, you've literally just warned everybody, though. Yeah, you've warned absolutely everyone. So there may be actually a, uh, a possibility of some form of like coalition or something like that uh, firing against me. Although it'd have to be aggressive, wouldn't it? Uh, very good leader from um, Jianzu over there. That's quite annoying. Uh, that's quite annoying actually that they've got a good leader. Saying that though, I'm hoping that they they won't attack me. The reason being, I've taken up the um, taken up the hills here, uh, which is great. Uh, and also, any sort of river crossing? There may be a river crossing there. I'm not sure. Uh, looking over that way. There's going to be a fight there. Going over there. No? Okay. Now I'm going over there. Be a pain in the neck. Okay. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because you're at war with Yeren, aren't you? Okay. So, that army is also hostile to uh, Jianzu. Cool, okay. This is the capital. Okay, nice. So attacking the capital is going to be very good for war score. Good. Uh, walk in down there. Lower your war enthusiasm by occupying a lot of your land. That is a good idea. Okay, so you're, you're actually sieging over here, which is fine. Uh, I'm quite happy for you to do that. Because uh, then I can just walk in all over your land. And I can also siege out your capital. Well, a little bit of attrition there. Uh, it's a bit annoying. I'm assuming that the supply limit here is not great. It's not, no. No, it's terrible. Uh, we could go in for a potential assault, though. We'd lose a lot of troops in doing so. Hmm. Not sure. Um... Not sure whether that's worthwhile. Yeah, we're at seven percent. I don't think we need to uh, do any uh, aggressive uh, wall breaching assaults just yet. Uh, we can fabricate a claim over here. Uh, I'm going to fabricate the claim on this uh, area here. Let's get a claim there. That'll do. We could, of course, be friends with Japan if we wanted to, uh, but obviously. They have so many vassals uh, that they're probably not going to be uh, not going to be willing to do that. Also, their arrival of Ming, so it's probably not. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. I'm hoping that your war enthusiasm is going to start dropping now, um, especially once your capital has been sieged out. I'll have a hundred percent occupation of their land as well if I can move in here, uh, which would be brilliant. Yeah, that's going to help help a great deal, actually, I think. So, yeah, take the capital, move across here, occupy the war goal, and that should be enough to suit peace, in which we could probably take a decent amount of land. Uh, the only problem is aggressive expansion, of course. Um, Yeren wants military access. Yeah, that's fine. Because um, if you want to go and attack that, then you can. Make sure. Okay. Hmm... Might struggle for conquest because obviously Ming has warned us. I would love an alliance. Obviously, because you're hostile towards me, there's not a lot I can do. So annoying. Uh, would uh, would a royal marriage be possible? It would if it wasn't for the hostile attitude. Okay. Ming declared war on Shangtai. Right. Uh, which is who? This one over here. Wow, that's an interesting place to declare war. Okay, fair enough. 
Uh, right, you're going back across to de siege. Um, Woodland might be well worth attacking you here. Where are you going? Oh, you're going to de siege your capital. Okay. Well, in that case, I might want to attack this stack. I don't know. What can we ask for? Let's have a look at what we can ask for here. So I'd love this. Love that as well. Uh, all your money would be nice. Are oh, you not willing to do that? Some money. Really? You are not willing to do this? Bit of money. It's probably going to be worthwhile, though. I think I will win this fight here. We have a better leader, though. We have double the troops, but you're a better leader. <sighs> Who would get there first? Him, by a long shot. Right, okay. DC here. Although you might get a ticker from... Yeah. You might actually get a ticker from... You might win that siege, which would lower this. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be fine. Aggressive expansion, yeah. Don't know. I don't know whether this is good enough. War score's huge. Yeah, the, the actual cost is massive for these. I think it's worth it though. Yeah, send demand. Ooh, lose some diplo power or prestige? We'll take the diplo power hit. Uh, so we get the mission completion there then. So that's good. And of course we'll pick up some aggressive expansion with uh, Ming, which is a bit brutal. Uh, so let's start coring then. Uh, we're going to mothball all our forts. And we need to sort out corruption. Uh, really? Oh, okay, we need to uh, invest a bit more up front there then. Something like that then. There we go, that'll do. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll deal with that then, that's fine. Um... Let's move the galleys here, and then the transports here, that'll do. Now the problem is we can't declare war until 1465 without Ming joining in, which is quite annoying. Um, you're being attritioned, okay. Um, God, the supply limit's so bad here. 1924, that'll do. Move here. Okay, so let's take a mission. Protect our brethren in Niguta. Ninguta. Which one is that? Oh, that's over here. Uh, so that's another conquest against Yanzu. Um, I think we'll take the manpower one, though. Um, purely because we're not going to be declaring any wars anyway. Um, so... <laughs> okay. Unless, of course, Ming turns around and decides to not be hostile towards me anymore. Um... So we're building a spy network across there, that's fine. Um, I'm going to build a spy network over here in Haishi as well. Um, build spy network. Build that there, and let's sort of mess around over this north end here and see what we can do. Cool, okay, so a little bit of expansion. Uh, not too much though. Greer Glender came on Ferdan. Which is what? Oh, uh, that's this one here. Nice, okay. I'll take that. <laughs> no complaints. Okay, maintain the diplomat in Ming. Uh, that's going to be important. There's not a lot we can do now. That's the problem. Um, we can't actually declare any wars. Oh, that war is finished. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, just a de-siege. Okay, I thought that war had finished, but it hasn't. So Haishi might be an interesting ally, but they're actually losing the fight against Yeren, so he's in two wars. Winning the first one quite well, uh, losing the other one. Uh, Korchin, Sangyo here, yeah, see, you're probably not going to want to uh, 
Yeah, you're probably not going to want to ally up. So, we have a distinct lack of friends here. Uh, so what sort of game could we potentially play then? Well, um, there's certainly the uh, possibility of playing the um, colonial game. That's quite good. All of this, of course, is open for colonising. And some of this is absolutely wicked land, as we discovered when we were playing as Ming. Um, yeah, it's interesting, because like Ming has a huge army and things like that, so we could probably never go in and attack you. Yeah, 57,000 men. <laughs> Wow, okay. So, um... Can I fabricate claim... Yeah, so I can fabricate a few claims down here. There we go. So, let's see. So, if I... Interestingly enough, right. I, first, I'm just going to look up who would join a fight. Like, do all the vassals join if I declare on a vassal? That's what I want to know. No, just Japan. But he can call in yes. So all the vassals would join in. Ming would not join in, though. Interestingly enough. Um, but will not be able to call in their own allies. But of course, if Japan goes to war, then I think that means all the vassals go to war as well. So that's probably going to be quite a tough tough one there. But Ming would not join that fight. That's interesting. Um, yeah. So, funnily enough, we've been warned. Yeah, see, there Ming would join. Okay. But if I were to declare over here, Ming would not join. Well, that's good to know. Okay. So, if I declared against Haishi, then Ming would join in, because they deem that to be too close to them. Right, but I can declare war on Jiangsu. Uh, 1456, mind you, but uh, it's going to allow me to get some claims up here. So build a spy network. We already have a claim in this province, of course. Uh, but there's two more provinces that we could potentially claim for, so... I think that will work out quite nicely. So yeah, I think we'll keep attacking up this way, then. Uh, we do have some separatists up there, though. Um, problem is, like, the... Yeah, 14. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to split the army in half and do that. Probably the best way we can do that, actually. Uh, so yeah, but we'll get some. We'll get a claim in Haishi anyway, uh, or two, just to open up our options and things like that. So Ming, yeah, Ming took some land. Fair enough. So yeah, we've got to be careful. Uh, fabricate claim. Uh, yay! Oh dear. Right, uh, so of course we take a huge penalty to our technology. It's actually 60% extra Monarch points. That's quite horrible. Uh, of course we can keep extra power points saved up because of that. I don't think westernizing is ever going to be a thing for us. Um, ooh, uh, yeah, we'll uh, quarantine port. I don't think we're ever going to be able to westernize. Like, It's just too much of a task to plow across there. And we're not even big enough. We're too small. So, yeah, that's going to be quite difficult. So what we might want to do then is perhaps play the colonial game and maybe strengthen our military as well. Like, maybe take some military ideas and things like that. That might be a good thing to do. Um, I would like to have some territory over here in Japan, though. The main reason being, one, they're a rival to me. But the other reason is because all of their territory is in my trade node. So I think that's going to be quite important to actually do. So... There's so many little intra wars over here and things like that. That I don't know whether it's worth. Because if I declare, then obviously. Yeah. Obviously, if I declare, then Japan and all its vassals can come in. Ooh. Increased stability. That's going to be important. Increased stability. Uh, right. Oh, we can pass a national... Enforce our heritage. Okay, increased missionary strength. Uh, tolerance of heathens decreases. Yes, we will take that. We could also potentially become a republic. We need trade and economic ideas for plutocratic administration, which is a merchant republic. We also need no more than 20 cities. So... Yeah, I don't think we'll end up doing that one. We'll, if we did become a republic, we'd probably do this one. 
but that requires aristocratic and influence, both of which are not great for our current position. Like, we're not going to be vassalizing anybody anytime soon, like this one here, for instance. Apparently, hostile attitudes, yeah. Uh, no one's going to be interested in vassalizing at all. So, there's a bunch of wars happening over this way, but I don't think there's going to be... I don't think we're realistically going to be able to do a lot over here. Um, especially with all the vassals joining in and things like that. I don't think... Until all of these vassals... Maybe when Japan actually unites itself into one nation, we might be able to go in for a good attack at that point. Uh, that might be an interesting thing to do. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, so we'll see. Yeren is being smashed, um, which is interesting. Uh, so a bunch of peace, a bunch of wars are finishing over here, which is fine. Um, Jianzu, yes, we can fabricate a claim over here. Uh, so Ninguta is going to be the next one. That'll do. Fabricate that claim. Oh, we also have this little island down here. Oh, that's interesting to know. Uh, what is our state? Are we all in? Yeah, we're all in the sort of the same state sort of pattern over here, so that's fine. Um, I'm guessing though that these two are, yeah, they're part of other states, so that's okay. Yeren is still fighting. Uh, so Jianzu is likely to grow here. Um, I don't think Korchin, did you have any claims? No, you had no claims up here. So Korchin will not gain any land, but Jianzu no doubt will. You gained a claim over here though, that must have been... Um, that must have been some sort of, uh, like, mission or something like that. Uh, is that a trade hub? No? I don't know what that's what that's about. Okay, um, this is going to be an important province then. Um, we'll take the, um, yeah, we'll take this one here. We have to. So, uh, Yeren accepted peace. So, yeah, oh my god, Zhaozu took a huge chunk of land. What the hell? So Yeren is actually completely, almost completely destroyed now. Um, just a curiosity. Distance between borders is a problem. I can say, I wouldn't mind actually just vassalizing that province there. That would be quite nice. Uh, for that though, I'd have to go through um, Haishi. And we can get our second claim on Haishi as well, so that'll be important. So, Jiren, there we go. Uh, who are you allied with? Oirat. Oh, that's a pretty brutal one, because uh, Mongolia, of course, would join in there uh, as well. And Ming would also join in, because, oh my god, yeah, that's a brutal fight. Okay. Haishi is quite in quite a powerful position here. Uh, Ming still sees me as hostile, as they want most of my provinces. Uh, that's a shame, but um, yeah, see Korchin here, great. Uh, you've also been warned by Ming though, so there's a good chance you're not going to be going to war with anybody else. Everybody around here has been warned by Ming, apart from Yeren. Okay, fair enough. See, there is a possible way that we could actually get Ming into a lot of trouble. Um, we could mess around with Ming quite a lot if we wanted to. But I don't think we're going to do that. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to end this part right here. Um, so that's it for now then. Thanks for watching. If you like EU4, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. For now, that's it. And join me next time for more for myself, Matt DeTomato, and I'll play through as Korea.